First, I'd like to congratulate Mary Wilson and Jackson on signing today. Huge accomplishment for which you've worked extremely hard. In the past, when we've had a player that has the caliber of a D Division I signee, I can talk about their eighth grade year. Unfortunately for Sachin, his eighth grade year, we had a very strong team, but it, so he wasn't in the lineup. But that didn't discourage him. He worked really hard in the off season and was ready to fill some really big shoes Becker O'Shaughnessy. And so his freshman year came along and he played number one singles and finished the regular season at eight and one, was an individual region singles champion, and was named to the all region team and reached the quarterfinals of individual state. He helped lead his team to a 12 and one record, a region championship and a state championship, state runner up, excuse me. Such in sophomore season saw more stellar play as he went undefeated at 11 and 0, sharing the number one spots, number one and two spots with his brother, Saren. In individual play, Sutton won the region championship, again making the all-region team, and reached the semifinals of state, losing in three sets to the eventual champion. He was named to the all-state team. Sutton led his team to the region championship and state championship, with his team boasting a perfect 14-0 season record and Sutton a 14-3 mark. Sutton's junior year marked our transition to the GHSA and a lot of new faces and teams, and with the move, no longer an opportunity to play for an individual title, only a team title. He went undefeated in the regular season and the postseason at number one singles, sporting a 17 and other record for the season. Here's a dominating stat, uh, a really interesting stat for Sutton. Against all middle Georgia players, FPD, Tattnall, Redwood, West Lawrence twice, Spalding County, Chris County, and Upson Lee. Sutton only lost 10 total games in eight matches. He clinched the match in our semifinals against Mount Perrin, semifinals of state against Mount Perrin. The match was tied 2-2, and with all of our hopes of playing for a state championship resting on Sutton, he rose to the occasion and won in the third set to send us into the finals. In the state finals against Brookstone, he won his match to put us up two to one. He led us to the area championship and the state championship in a team record of 21 and one. Having been named to the Telegraph All Middle Georgia teams in the ninth and 10th grade, Sutton was named the Telegraph's All Middle Georgia Player of the Year his junior year. If you notice, I keep calling Sutton's teams his teams. On top of such as many victories, he is also a team leader and has been since his freshman year. Whether on or off the court, Sutton has been a stellar example of the best a student athlete can be. With a 4.29 GPA and obviously a very high winning percentage on the court, Sutton has shown how hard work on the court and in the classroom can pay off tremendously. Thank you to Coach Ramsey Earnhardt, Wade, Wade Thomas, and Randy Stevens for your part in helping Sutton reach this day. I also want to recognize Craig Jones from Idlewine. Sutton has spent hundreds of hours at Craig's Academy to help get to this day. I also want to recognize Sutton's incredibly supportive family. They are the number one reason he is signing today. I know you're proud of this fine young man. Sachin, you have been a coach's dream player, and we look forward to your senior season this spring. When you graduate, we will miss your attitude, your leadership, your humor, and your kindness, but we can't wait to come cheer you on in your Mercy Bears uniform next fall. Sachin, please sign your letter of intent and then come on up and say your words. Academy. I know we take it for granted, 
that we have such a great education, but thousands of children across the world don't have education and millions more go to schools that are not of the caliber of Stratford. Um, Stratford has its reputations from its excellent teachers, and these teachers have put up with me for 12 years, and I, I thank you for that. Uh, secondly, I have to thank my family. You guys, probably the most important thing to me. Uh, Dad, you support, supported me with everything I've wanted to do since day one. Uh, you taught me how to play ping pong, then you took me to tennis, you took me to every tournament, every practice. You never said no. All you told me to do was work first, play later. Uh, I remember the first time I beat you, you weren't too happy. <laughs> the racket might have been broken. But I know that you're happy on the inside because that's what you always wanted. Uh, next, Mom, I know you don't really like tennis. I know you like, told me to like, quit. But <laughs> the past two years, you've become my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. And when I visited you as my travel agent, you didn't complain. And I really thank you for that. Uh, next, my sisters, Shri and Suri. Um, Y'all don't really like tennis either, but it's kind of a recurring theme. But um, you support me a lot. You always loved me. You always told me, gave me advice, and I could always crash at your place if I needed to go to a tournament or anything. Uh, next to my grandparents, uh, Nani Nana, you guys have been at my side ever since I was born. You've been my uh, personal doctor. You uh, always helped me with my injuries. Nana, you, uh, you took me, you weren't the first person to take me to go play tennis, but you were the first person to make me like it. So I thank you for that a lot. Uh, Mom, my other grandmother, you, you've given me a much measurable amount of love and support, and I thank you for that as well. Uh, lastly, Saren, uh, what can I say? You've been my, my brother since day one. Uh, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Growing up, everything we did was always a competition. And you always pushed me in every way. You always tried to make me better than you. And uh, I really appreciate it a lot. You've taken me to every tournament, every practice. You've been there a lot for me. And I, this past year has been really difficult without you. But I'm glad you're here today. Uh, Next, I've got to thank all my coaches, Coach Craig, Coach Jamie, Coach Randy, Coach Ramsey, and Coach Haley. Uh, Coach Craig, I know when I came to you in eighth grade, you're pretty skeptical about the strokes and if I even play tennis, but <laughs> needless to say, you worked hard with me for the past four years. You never gave up on me. You're always there for me, whether it be 6 a.m. or 8 p.m. I could always give you a call at every tournament I went to, and you've made me not only a great player, but a great person. I thank you for that. Um, also, to the uh, academy, uh, I gotta thank Michael, Miller, Preston, Mark, Kenji, uh, and everyone that I played with. You guys always pushed me a lot, and it wouldn't be the same without you. Um, I gotta thank the cross country team. I love y'all. Thank you. And then uh, lastly, just to tell all the kids that um, don't shoot through the sky when you know their footprints on the moon. Dream big, and every day that goes by, by can, never, can never be taken back. So make the most of it every day, and your dreams will become true. Thank you, and go Eagles.